Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon you all. All praises due to Allah, the Lord of the world. Let's bless and salutations upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and those who follow him till the day of judgment. My dear student is at Balbais al Azhari Preparatory Institute for Boys affiliated with the Balbais al Azhar administration, Eastern al Azhar Sharif section, al Azhar Sharif. It's my pleasure to introduce to you this information about the issue of Palestine, the, about the issue of Al Masjid al Aqsa. This is the one of the many of arguments which adopted the Zionists to occupy the Palestine. As students to Al Azhar Sharif, we must to read a lot about the Palestine, about the distant mosque, about the Al Masjid Al Aqsa, because this is the part of your doctrine. The Al Masjid Al Aqsa is the first Qibla to Muslims, and the Prophet Muhammad BSP upon him commanded us to care of the Palestine and this mosque and, and these places. So let's start. Are you ready? Let's go. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Hi everyone. Hope you all doing well. From Zionist arguments which depends to occupy the land of Palestine, they say that Torah give, give us this right. In the book of Genesis, the God say to Abraham, peace be upon him, I will give you this land from the Nile at Egypt and the Euphrates at Iraq. They are based on the religious dimension. And we wondered if we accepted the validity of this speech, this, these words, because uh, as a Muslim, we think is that Torah now is infected with something of a switch and misrepresentation. This verse of the book of Genesis also give the right to this land for Arab because Abraham peace be upon him uh, uh, he married Hagar peace be upon him and he gave birth from her Ishmael alayhi salam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Abraham peace be upon him talk Hagar and uh, her son uh, Ishmael alayhi salam and went to Arabian Peninsula and then Abraham peace be upon him gave birth from Sarah may Allah bless with her Isaac and Isaac gave birth from his wife uh, Jacob peace be upon him and Jacob gave 12 tribes and those tribes called next the Aspat the Banu Israel the son of Israel the son of Jacob peace be upon him and by the way Israel means slave of Allah Abdullah. This word Israel contain two syllables. Isra, which means slave. Eel, which means Allah. Abdullah, slave of Allah. So as Arab, as Muslims, also we from his offspring, uh, I mean Abraham, peace be upon him, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came from descendants of Ishmael alayhi salam. And according to the settlement, we also, according to the Torah, we also have the right from this land. The other point is the Jews now are not all children of Israel. They are groups, texts of different nationalities and races. And for information, this divine promise he wants to get it, accept good people. And unfortunately, the Jewish people disbelieved in God, became immoral, became urgent, and became violent in this land. They called the prophets, distorted the Torah, changed the religion, and even worshipped the calf and committed evil deeds. It is not possible, for God inherited the holy day for them. So really Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised Abraham and his following to this land. When they believed one God, when they good people, when they done the good deeds, 
when they, the good people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised in this land. And when they replaced, when they disbelieved in God, when they arrogant from the people, when they became violent in uh, the land, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced them from the other people. So, uh, in the whole Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذِ بِتَلَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُنْ قَالَ إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامًا قَالَ وَمِنْ ذُرِّيَّتِي قَالَ لَا يَنَالُ عَهْدِ الظَّالِمِينَ which means I remember that Abraham, peace be upon him, was tried by his Lord with certain commandments when he fulfilled. He said, I'll make you an imam to the nations. He replied, and also imams of my offspring, he answered, but my promise is not within the reach of evildoers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirmed to this meaning. He said, وَلَادَ نُوحٌ رَبَّهُ فَقَالَ رَبِّ إِنَّ بِنِي مِنْ أَهْلِي وَإِنَّ وَعْدَكَ الْحَقُّ وَأَنْتَ أَحْكَمُ الْحَاكِمِينَ uh, The son of Nuh, peace be upon him, didn't respond to his father and he didn't came to the ship. So the translate of this verse, and Nuh called to his Lord and said, My Lord, indeed my son is of my family. And indeed your promise is true. And you are the most just of judges. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, إِنَّهُ عَمَلٌ غَيْرُ صَالِحٌ قَالَ إِنَّهُ لَيْسَ مِنْ أَهْلِكَ إِنَّهُ عَمَلٌ غَيْرُ صَالِحٌ فَلَا تَسْأَلِّ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ إِنِّي أَعِظُكَ أَنْ تَكُونَ مِنَ الْجَاهِلِينَ He said, O oh, Nuh, no. surely he is not of your family. Verily his work is unrighteous. So ask of me that we which you have no knowledge. I admonish you lest you be one of the ignorant. So for this reason the Jews didn't have any right at the land of Palestine. But I think the people closest to Abraham peace be upon him are the Muslims. The people of monotheism, because Abraham, peace be upon him, was a monotheist, saw his sons Ishmael, Jacob, and Isaac, may Allah bless him, all were monotheism. So the closest people to Abraham, peace be upon him, now the Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the whole Quran says, ما كان إبراهيم يهوديا ولا نصرانيا ولكن كان حنيفا مسلما وما كان من المشركين. Abraham peace be upon him was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was a true Muslim Hanif, Islamic monotheism, to worship none but Allah alone, and he was not of all mushrikeen. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a bucket lot of fun. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon you all.